All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into another edition of the Dunmarks Podcast. One gotta go. You know the drill. Four topics. We discuss them, debate them, vote them off. Which one gotta go? Four results from last week's. Last week, Sex and the City gotta go. Not a lot of female Ooh. votes, then I take it. No, there were some female votes on there. Really? really? No, there was female votes. Voting, was. This, voting for Sex and the City to get off the list? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Surprise. Yeah. Oh. You know, I was, you know. Definitely the love shown for the Sopranos there, not a lot of votes. I think there was like one for that. Yeah, you know. It's four white women talking about sex doesn't really uh, move the needle when it comes to, you know, entertaining television in this case. It's still on though, isn't it? it is yes, true. it is. Yes, it is. That is true. Um, so for this week's One Gotta Go, I've decided we, we're going to go a little cultured here since Donald was, you know, at the Benningham last week taking in a nice little play uh, down there in the cultural district. Oh. And <laughs> shout out <laughs> shout out to the, to the high school alma mater, Willen Hills. Um, check out your program, guys, coming up for the musical there. You'll see your boys at Dunmar's podcast and their sponsor in the musical. So this week we're going with high school musicals. Now, these are the four top high school musicals or the ones that have been the most performed going back to the 1960s. So again, okay, so you, did, you, you, know, did, you did the homework, but I've definitely did my research. It was not one I was expecting from you. On you that. said culture, and I was expecting something totally different. <laughs> <laughs> swear on you. Swear on you. Um, so we got Grease, Oklahoma, Bye Bye Birdie, Guys and Dolls. Which one of these four high school musicals got to go? Well, for me, musicals are not my thing. And I only seen one of these on here. I have no idea what the other three are. So I know what Grease is. That's it. The other three, I completely don't know what they what they're about. They're not my thing. So I'll just say bye bye birdie. This man goes to the symphony but won't watch a musical. No, because I don't like that. We I love like you, Conrad. It's different. It's different. I don't have that mind. <laughs> Only one I haven't seen on here is Oklahoma. So really, that's, that's going to be the one that I that goes off for me. I feel like the, I feel like when we were in junior high, they did Oklahoma. They might have. I did. I was in Bye Bye Birdie in junior high when they did that. Where's uh, Where's Annie? Get your gun. Yeah, that. So that didn't make the the cut. As um, I thought that was Oklahoma for a second. So <laughs> let me. <laughs> no wait. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a separate one. Yes, yeah, simple one again. Yeah. Um, uh, look, I just sang "We Love You, Comrade." That's the number one because that song is still in my head. From Bye Bye Birdie, staying because it's still in my head from sixth grade, seventh grade. Uh, Grease number two, staying. I've never seen Oklahoma and Guys and Dolls, but Guys and Dolls sounds more current and relevant. I'll go with Guys and Dolls. Oklahoma is actually the Jim Ross musical, but. <laughs> Look, you had me for a second. I was like, oh, <laughs> "By God!" <laughs> you had me for a second. You had him out there with a wrestling pun. Uh, I was about to say, "Are you? Are you for real?" <laughs> Google, like, who's the real Jim Ross? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I've seen all four of these. Um, you know, Greece is not going anywhere. Um. For me, I, I probably tend to agree with Jason, even though Guys and Dolls is a good show. I, I think Guys and Dolls got to go. I much more much more prefer Oklahoma and Bye Bye Birdie um, from a high school musical setting. So Guys and Dolls for me got to go. Okay. All right. So not not much to go on here. A um, little quick debate. It was pretty easy, especially since – Donald just doesn't care about this topic. So, with that being said, head on over to social media and vote which one of the high school musicals got to go. 